starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Tammy? Hi, Mrs. Young. I was just around, you know, and I saw you and Joey. And, well, I thought... You want to talk to Joey? Yes, ma'am. If it'd be all right. Well, I don't know. My mom would... My mom told me that you'd let me know when it'd be all right to see Joey. Maybe I shouldn't even be here. He hasn't talked to any of his friends since the accident. I know. It's hard to explain, but he seems to prefer to be alone. And I haven't wanted to press. Not yet. Well, I understand, Mrs. Young. Bye. Timmy? Maybe it would be a good idea if you talk to Joey. Come on in. Who is that? Me, Timmy, and Lassie. We came by to see you. We thought you could talk. Take a hike. Remember? We used to take hikes. You, me, and Lassie. In the woods. We could do it again. I can't see. And I can't ever see again. I know, Joy. Maybe I better be on my way. Okay, Lassie, let's go. Good girl. Now this way. Tim. 
me. Timmy Martin, what are you and Lassie up to? I made this harness, Mom, and I've been working with Lassie. You know, like one of those dogs that blind people have. She's pretty good. Oh, yes, I can see that. I thought maybe Jerry would like Lassie to take him around. Oh, well, I don't know about that. We could try. He just sits in that room and stares out the window. He can't see where he wants to go. And with Lassie, he could go. Well, it might be all right. Let me call Cora and find out. Thanks, Mom. Lassie, we'll try it again, okay? Timmy and Lassie are here. They have a surprise for you. Go to Joy, Lassie. Timmy? I'm here. What's this? It's for you. To hold on to. When you, me, and Lassie go for a walk. Oh. We could have fun again. I think I'd rather stay here. Okay. Maybe you'd like some company. I mean, I could leave Lassie here. Okay. You stay with Joy, girl. Bye, Joy. Bye. putting my foot in it. <laughs> no, Tammy. This is something that's going to take time. A lot of time. And we've got to give it a chance. I mean, no. I just... Mom? Yes, Joey? Is Timmy gone? No, he's still here. Well, I thought I'd take a little walk. Lassie will lead you right out the door. That's right. What about the step? Lassie will stop when she gets to it. That's it. That's right. What now? Tell her to go ahead. Go ahead, Lassie. That's right, Joy. You're doing fine. Go on, Lassie. Go ahead. Maybe it's a deer. Golly, 
You can see with your ears. What's the matter? Well, I was just thinking. Thinking about what? Well, every time I come out here, you and Lassie are with me. We like it. Yeah, but I should be able to do it alone. I and mean, you've got things that you want to do. My mom says I should go to a camp where blind kids go. But I like it here. If I only had a dog. I bet we could get you one. If we work hard with Lassie. And then I would show how good you could do it. And we would write a letter. To who? Well, to the people who have the dogs. When you get better, we can do it. Well, we'll keep it a secret, all right? Okay, shake. Shake. Well, let's go to work. To me. It's about a dog for Joey. What was wrong with it? Oh, just a couple of plugs were foul. Now it's running as good as new. Oh, good. Want some sugar? Mm hmm. No, they can't do that to him. What is it, Timmy? Timmy Martin, Martin Farm, Calverton. Dear Mr. Martin, in reply to your letter of the 16th, we regret to inform you that your friend Joey Young is unable to qualify for one of our dogs since he is under the age limit. The enclosed pamphlet explains why and so on. When Joey is older, he can apply and undoubtedly will qualify. Sincerely yours is... Do you know anything about this? No, he never said anything to me about it. all different now that he can get around with Lassie's help. Well, Timmy, it says here that the reason younger children can't have dogs is that they tend to make pets out of them. Uh, a dog for a blind person must be under very strict discipline. Apparently they've tried it and it just doesn't work out too well. But Joy was counting on having a dog of his own. <laughs> I've got to do it. I've just got to give Lassie to Joy. You know, there are other ways to me. And I'm sure much better ways. But Joy can't get around without Lassie. But Timmy... And then he'll go back to being sad again. You don't want that, do you? No. No, and I don't want my own boy to be sad either. Dad? There's just some things we have to do sometimes. Yeah. Well, you do what you think is right to me. But Lassie's your dog, Timmy. What do you do without her? Well, I'll come and visit her every day. It'll be almost like having her at home. Are you sure? 
sure. Thanks, Timmy. That's okay. Come on, let's go tell my mom. Go ahead, Lassie. Dear. Isn't it something, Mom? Timmy gave me Lassie so I can go out by myself. Oh, Joey. That's wonderful. Timmy's mother called, and we thought maybe it'd be fun to go on a picnic tomorrow, okay? Sure. Come on in, Timmy. We'll play some records. I don't feel like listening to records. Would you tell Joey? Yes, I'll tell him. Lassie eats. She'll be good and healthy if you feed her this. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Children's camp just over the rise. How do you know that? Oh, I just know. Well, you want to take a look around? Sure. How about you, Joy? Sure. Well, go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. Come on, Lassie. Let's go, Joy. Well, it's in the works. Why don't you two go find the camp director and I'll stay with the kids? Fine. All right. Mr. Morton? No, Joey. It's a camp for blind children. What are they doing? They're having a relay race. What else? Some of them are shooting arrows into a target. You know, archery. Blind kids are doing that? Yep. And some of them are swimming in the pool. Hi, Joey. I'm Stan Wharton. I'm the director here. What do you think of our camp? Well, I don't know. You know, all of the boys here, some of them your age, are blind. Well, how do they get around? By themselves. Do they have dogs? No. We found that it's better not to depend too much on outside help. You take me, for example. I have a dog, but I try to do as much as I can on my own. And that's what you should do. Are you blind? Yes. I think you'd like it here, Joey. You, you'll learn a lot of new things, and when fall comes, we have the right school for you. You know, Joey, it's hard being blind at first. But it's not the end of everything. As a matter of fact, it's just the beginning of something new and important. You'll find that out. What do you say, Joey? Will you try it with me? I'm reaching for your hand, Joey. We can't go out there. We can't see. Sure, we can see. We can see together. You did it. You hear that humming sound over there, Joey? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, aim the arrow right for the center of that humming sound. 
Okay? Okay. There you go. Thank you.